Right guys, so if you're watching this video, you have watched up to season 9 of season 3 of Game of Thrones and you have read all six books currently out for um, the series A Song of Ice and Fire. And you're waiting for episode 10 that's going to air either tomorrow or um, Monday, depending on where you live in the world. And basically, I'm going to throw out several suggestions and speculations of what can happen in season in episode 10 because at work and in my social life no one has either gone all the way up to episode 9 yet or read all the books so I have no way of venting my frustrations and my enjoyment of the series so far so please comment uh, rate and subscribe and open up a discussion in the comments below about what could happen in episode 10. Now with this season, unlike the previous two seasons where maybe season 1 a couple of things were changed and season 2 they just messed around with a couple of names and a few 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 timeline things were changed. In this season it's a complete amalgamation of like book 4, 5 and 6. For example like the Thea and Greyjoy stuff. I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen until book 6. I know for a fact my girlfriend still says she hasn't read it and she's in book 6. So that's a bit weird. Also there's stuff like there's no Edric Storm and his character's been replaced by Gendry, which causes Melisandre and Thoros to actually meet in the book. I mean sorry, meet in the T V show. Which is a bit weird. It threw me off a little bit. So that was a bit odd. And then there's like the scene in uh, episode nine where <coughs> sorry, where um Jon Snow and the Wildlings are fighting. I'm pretty sure that happens on a lake. And that Bran and Rickon aren't actually that close to them. Like, they're not in the tower just there. I'm pretty sure they're, like, at least maybe half a mile away. So, I mean, because of the differences between the book and the TV show, even for someone that's read the book, at least in my opinion, it's difficult to actually predict exactly how they're going to finish this season. So one thing that could happen is that we finally find out who's been torturing Thea and Greyjoy. And obviously, if you're watching this video, you've read the books, so you know that it is Ramsay Snow, who is the bastard son of Roose Bolton, who incidentally betrayed Rob Stark at the Red Wedding. So that'd be interesting to see if they actually reveal it in this season, or leave people hanging for the next one. Also, I'm expecting to there to be a massive sex scene with Daenerys. Because let's face it, in the books, she becomes a little bit of a whore. Granted, it's just with the same man every time, but still. So I'm expecting something to be there. Probably akin to, if you've ever seen the TV series Spartacus, probably akin to something like that. What would make my day, though, is if Joffrey finally gets his demise. Because for me, that was an excellent bit in the book, because my favourite character is Tyrion. So anything that goes in his favour is friggin' fantastic. And the f just the way it happens as well is brilliant. And plus, that means we'll get push Tyrion's character forward and we get to see that fantastic scene where he uses a crossbow and catches his father in a very unfortunate position, which would be awesome to watch on TV. Also, the more characters that we get out of the way next episode, the more characters that can be introduced into the next season. Because so I think what they're doing is they're leaving some characters out to make it less confusing for viewers and then what they're going to do is like finish off characters um, and just add new ones in so hopefully we'll go over to the Summer Isles and down to uh, what's it called? I want to say Dawnstar but I know for a fact that's from Skyrim Sunspear, got it, Sunspear <laughs> go down to there and uh, see a few more of the characters like the Dark Star and that down there which would be awesome as well one thing I noticed though in episode 9, they killed off Rob Stark's wife, the so-called Queen of the North at that point, which doesn't happen in the book. And also, the Great John wasn't present as well, which was weird. But killing off the Queen of the North, if that character's still alive in the book, it just it says to me that eventually she's not going to be really necessary whatsoever. And she's just going to either be killed off, disappear, or... So it's a bit unfortunate that's in there for people that have read the book and stuff, but you know, what are you going to do? And hopefully 
next season there'll be a bit more of the magical element of um, a song of ice and fire because like for the the most part at the moment and there's dragons and there's the white walkers and there's a bit of stuff with the walks and that but there's so much more than what they've shown so far I'm pretty sure they left out the whole thing with the black candles and the obsidian as well and the way that Sam finds the obsidian is just a really annoying for me I love the fact that Ghost digs it up and stuff but anyway I digress so to summarise either looking for Theon Greyjoy's torturer to be revealed the attack on Castle Black I forgot to mention that earlier the attack on Castle Black could happen which would mean Stannis would have to move pretty quick. And then, actually, no, he's not involved in the attack, is he? He's involved in the aftermath of the fight beyond the wall. Still, he'd have to move pretty quick throughout the season. Anyway, yeah, attack on Castle Black. Um, Daenerys, massive sex scene, which wouldn't be a very good finish for the end of the season. It's probably going to be in there anyway, it's an hour. And then, possibly, which would really be a good one for me, Joffrey's death, which would be awesome. And that would be fantastic. So, two thumbs up for that. And for Tyrion as well, because he's freaking awesome. Yeah, so, leave any comments about this in the comment section. Get a discussion going, maybe. And rate and subscribe if you like. I'll be pumping one of these videos out after episode 10 as well. A spoiler-free and a version like this as well. So, yeah. I'll see you later.